Hello, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to see HTML, web, the internet, the browser. These are the things that make the world so small. Because of internet and because of the web pages, you have got the information at your fingertips. What makes this happen and the backbone of this is the HTML. HTML is hypertext markup language. This has a proper structure. This is nothing but a structured way of writing documents. In our conventional documents, we normally do paragraphs, headings, etc. Same way we can do documents in HTML. What you need to have as the fundamental thing in HTML is there should be a H, this is called a tag. Anything that is contained within angle braces, like less than, greater than symbol, is called a tag. This is the end tag. End tag meaning slash HTML, forward slash HTML. So it should have a container HTML slash HTML. Within that, there are two components, head slash head. This is the header of the HTML page then body slash body. So any HTML page needs to have this HTML tag head body. So all the tags they need to have the corresponding end tags. Anything within body will be printed as it is on your web page. So this is my first page is the text that I am trying to print. If you see this, this is also a tag but the thing is if you have this less than symbol and uh, this exclamation mark, this is a comment. So the comment starts here, the comment ends here. The convention is to have two dashes, the two dashes are not mandatory, but this is mandatory to have a comment. So comment will not get displayed, but the rest in the body will get displayed. This is the first page that we are trying to print on the page. Now I open the browser, this is the page we are viewing d colon page one dot html you don't see the HTML tag or head or body tag. What is the content that is within the body tag that gets displayed? So this is welcome, congratulations on your first web page. But the web page, if it contains raw data, it is not formatted. So we need to have proper formatting of this page. So what we want to do is, I want to first give a title. So there is a tag within header called title slash title so always end the tags my first page so I give the title now let us go back once you change the file with dot HTML extension you need to go back to the browser load the file press F5 once you press F5 you will see the title of the page also appearing on your browser okay so the title will appear on the HTML page on the browser. I have not included that tab over here, but you will see on your browser. The next thing is a very simple formatting. All I want is, this is my first line in my document. This is second line. So I typed first line here. I typed second line here. I go back to the page press FI but it doesn't appear in the second line though it appeared in this document in two different lines both the lines appear horizontally in the same place this is not good so if I want to have one line to appear after the other line I need to have a simple tag called BR BR it doesn't have an end tag so just if you say BR BR stands for line break so if you want to break the line to appear in the second place, second line or the subsequent line, you have to give BR. Now I go back, press F5. Now look at this. This line appears over here. This line appears over here. So this is the fundamental line break in HTML. Now what I want is, if I want to have additional blank lines in between, you can have additional BR. Change this in the document save this document okay then once if you do not save it will not take effect save the document 
come back to the page, press F5 or refresh. Once you refresh, the old content will go. Now, the, since I have given one additional BR, there is one additional blank line also appearing over here. Again, one more simple thing. If I use a tag called HR, okay, let us try this. I have used a tag called HR, save the file. Now look at here, there is a horizontal line appearing over here. HR stands for a horizontal line or a horizontal divider between something. So you can have page the line breaks and then the horizontal lines appearing over here. If I remove this additional break and then save, come back. Now look at this, this is the first line divided by a horizontal rule. Then the next line appears. This is a fundamental breakup of the lines. In the, in the HTML page. Now, more than this, what I want to have is exactly in the way it appears in my books or the textbooks, I want to have headings. If you want to have headings, you have to have a tag called h1 slash h1. Between that, the tag instructs the browser to interpret whatever follows as, as a text. So the moment you give a tag body, the browser interprets it in a different way. The moment you give h1, it interprets in a different way. Let me say, uh, first topic. Now I have given h1, slash h1, given this as first topic. Let us go refresh this. Look at this. The heading appears in bold, in bigger letters, then the first topic appears. Now, I go here. After this, I am trying to give h2 subtopic level 2. Now I give slash h2. So I have given h1 is the top level header. h2 is the sub level. Now I refresh this. Look at this. The first level header appeared bigger, bolder. Second level subtopic appeared a little bit smaller. Now I, what I want to do is the same thing I want to do with h3 level 3 okay then I'm going to say uh, third line I save this file come back refresh look at this this is the h head head 1 header 2 header 3 the size and the font slightly changes not the font but the size slightly changes to differentiate this is the top level header this is the next level header Whenever you are giving the header, you don't have to give the BR. It automatically takes the page break, the line break, sorry. Like this, you can go up to six level, H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6. So this is the fundamental body level header and the text. Now, what I want to do is, let us have a break over here. Let us have two breaks. I want to have a line which is bold, which appears in bold, okay? This is a bold line. You need to include a tag B slash B. B stands for bold, okay? The slash B ends that bold. Now we'll come back, refresh. Look at this. This is the same font, but it appears in bold. The same thing, if I use it, with a different tag. This is called U, underline. If I want to underline something, use U slash U. This is underline, okay? Now, let us go back. Look at this. Since I have not given the break, this is appearing with an underline with that, for the text. Now, let me give a break over here, break over here. I want to have one more line. This is italics, okay? Italics meaning slanting letters. You need to have I slash I. The slash is forward slash, not the backward slash. Now let us go back and then see this. See, so this is bold, this is underline, this is italics. This is appearing in a slanting line. So this is a fundamental level of heading, line break, horizontal ruling, 
then headers, then bold, underline and italics. So this is the very basics of HTML so you can have any text. Suppose I want to have a paragraph okay so you can what you can do is p use the tag p slash p this is a paragraph open mentor is great so you can type a lot of text let us type a lot of text now I have given a paragraph with p slash p this is a paragraph with a lot of content now I go back refresh look at this the paragraph appears like this so once you give a paragraph automatically the line break appears so the moment I have another paragraph let me copy this as another paragraph this is next paragraph I come back refresh you could see I have not given a BR a line break but the moment it sees P it automatically takes a line break and then this is the first paragraph this is the next paragraph there is a blank line in between so you can have paragraphs headings uh, underlining italics and bold of all the text that you are giving in the basic page now the next session we are going to see how to change the formats how to give links etc thank you